Hello, and welcome to Hessens County. I'm glad that you could join us again today for another TTRPG Talk. This series discusses tabletop role-playing games, related materials, world-building suggestions, and game design. Today, we'll be, we will be continuing our SRD and Systems series with a look at Aspire. This system, created by Kaya, uh, she is otherwise known as Mirrorlock Atelier, or just Mirrorlock, on social media and itch. Now, Aspire describes itself as a framework for narrative-driven TTRPGs. Some elements of it will likely be familiar to those of you who are already acquainted with some of the other systems that we have been discussing so far that are ideal for solo or narrative play with quick setup. Kaya has based uh, this on the core of the engine that she runs her own games on, her Odyssey, Untitled Moth Game, and You Beyond the Pale. Each of those games uses a framework that is built around the combined use of cards and dice that are described here. The basic game loop is as follows. 1. Draw one or more cards from a deck. 2. Consult the prompt associated with the card or cards. 3. Roll dice to try and beat a value that is associated with the cards that were drawn. Oftentimes, these might be the face value of a card if only one was drawn, or maybe the total value of the cards if the game is set up to use numbered playing cards or tarot cards. 4. Determine the outcome and next steps depending upon the prompt and the results of the die roll. That is pretty much the essence of the core mechanics of Aspire. How exactly you decide to approach uh, the way that the cards and the dice are used and how they interact with each other is up to you. However, Kaya does provide a large number of examples and suggestions based on her own games and some other similar systems like Carta or Caltrop Core. She does this in a very good and clear way by asking you, the prospective game designer, a series of questions. What kind of cards do you wish to use? How will you count the values of these cards, and how many cards are used in each round of the game loop? What kind of dice will your game use? What determines how many dice you roll and when? How does the dice roll interact with the cards? What kinds of prompts will, will your game use? Are these a set of impressions or keys? Or are these fully fleshed out scenarios like you might encounter in a Carta or Wretched and Alone game? What kind of turning point will your game use? Is there a stage in the game where the cards or the dice or the prompts change? Or you're drawing from a different list? What triggers the change from one act of this action to the next? Is it a card that's encountered on in the deck? Is it the particular result of a die roll? Is it the use of a resource that eventually runs out? What kind of deck setup are we using in this game? Are you using multiple decks? Are you breaking up your deck into multiple stages? Or are you intentionally setting up cards in certain places in the deck to allow for a certain length of play? Finally, how are you going to make Aspire your own game? Are you integrating elements from another system, like the aforementioned Caltrop Core or maybe the Breathless system? Are you breaking the mold by creating a multiplayer game using the Aspire system? Do you include stats or other mechanics that might influence the way that certain rules within your game operate? I strongly encourage you to take a deeper look at some of her suggestions and prompting questions, because the SRD as a whole is a good and concise read, even if you're not actually considering using this SRD directly in your own work. Speaking of work, I would of course be remiss if I did not bother to mention some of the uh, legal language that is associated with this SRD. The SRD itself is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 license, so you can certainly create your own paid game using these rules, so long as you include a statement of in your legal language that you based your work on the SRD, the license of the SRD, and that Kaya was its creator. Or, of course, you could just copy-paste what you see on the page here. 
Aspire also comes with a logo that you can see above me that uh, is it can be attached to your work that was created by Matthew of Abyssal Bruce. If you use the Lego, sorry, if you use the logo, <laughs> I definitely recommend that you include an attribution to Matthew as well in your game's legal language page. And that's pretty much it for Aspire, the Aspire SRD. As always, links will be included to the description, and also there's a game jam that will be running from May 1st to July 1st of 2023. Don't forget, don't, uh, don't forget to check that out, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to hear more about different sorts of systems and SRD videos in the future. A playlist will be shown at the in the end card if you want to check out any systems that we have covered before, or uh, again, you can access that playlist through our channel. Now, go get creating. Don't forget to rate your itch purchases, and have a good zone. If you would like to show your support for this channel or for the Hessens County blog, in the description down below, you will find links to the channel coffee and also the itch store. Please feel free to take a look and thank you for your support.